As always, Google is tight-lipped about what exactly is going to be unveiled at this developer show here today. But this is the conference where Google does make major announcements to its latest version of Android. So the expectation is that we're going to see Google release a second developer preview of Android P. No official name for Android P just yet, by the way, though Popsicle is apparently the top contender. Perhaps with Android P, we're going to see more changes to how people interact with notifications and improvements to both security and battery life. Also sure to be in focus today here is going to be AI. Sundar Pichai has made it clear that artificial intelligence is the cornerstone of his company's future. AI is also unlocking new opportunities for everyone. Just in the last few months, we have seen some amazing applications, from dairy farmers in Georgia using TensorFlow to improve the health of their herds, to our own Google researchers who figured out how to use ML techniques to assess a person's risk of a heart attack. The possibilities of AI in healthcare are truly exciting. Now remember at last year's I.O., Google also announced plans for a standalone VR headset. Its partners like Lenovo followed through with devices like the $400 Mirage Solo. So one question people have is whether Google is going to use the conference today to push even harder into AR and VR, where global spending is expected to reach a combined $18 billion this year. Now as this conference kicks off, we know Alphabet stock hasn't done so much this year. It's basically flat year to date. Sundar Pichai's keynote starts at 10 a.m. local. We'll be here and bring you headlines as they come. Guys, back to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.